So these are the assembly instructions for my pop-up coffin treat box. So I have two styles, one of them with an acetate pop-up figure and the other one with a mechanism that's created with a rubber band. This one's with the drawer and the pop-up acetate. My first step is to apply my iron-on to my cardstock. So my skeleton is cut out of glow-in-the-dark iron-on and I have my Cricut mini press set to medium or at least when it heats up it'll be set to medium. So I have two layers of 80 pound black cardstock for my base. So I'm going to glue those two pieces together. This is just to make them sturdier. So I'm just gluing these two so that they're stacked up exactly on top of one another. And then I'm positioning my iron on on top of my cardstock and according to the Cricut heat guide. So constant movement and applying for 10 seconds. So this is a cold peel. I'm going to set it aside and let it cool and work on the rest of my card. For the coffin that has the drawer, I'm going to start with the drawer piece. So I'm just folding on all the score lines. And then I have a liner to put on the bottom of my box. So this is a large rectangle that fits in the interior of those central score lines. And then I'm going to put glue on one of those tabs. I've got the trapeze shape, I've got a rectangle, and then I have two tabs on each side. I've put glue on one of the tabs. I'm lifting up that long side. So the cut edge of my long side is right at the score line of my tab. So next I'm putting glue on the tab on the other side and joining it at the score line like so. I'm rotating my piece and I'm doing that exact same thing on the other end. And then I have these four flaps at the top of my box. I'm just putting glue all along those flaps, turning them into the interior of my box. And then I'm just spreading that glue. And I'm doing that for all four flaps. So next I have the pieces for the coffin itself. So I have these four pieces and I'm just folding down on all the score lines for all of them. So these two pieces are exactly the same, except they're mirror images of one another. And they each have a tab on this side that gets adhered to the walls to create the path for the drawer. I'm just putting glue along that long tab on the side. And then I'm folding this side over that edge of that piece should fit just along the score line of your tab. And then I'm going to take the other one and do the exact same thing, just putting glue along that tab. And I'm adhering my form together like so. It creates like a little wedge shape. So this piece fits along my left side. I'm putting a little bit of glue on the tab. I'm gluing the upper side of my coffin right at that score line and so then I'm flipping my piece over looking at that wedge side and I'm just putting glue all along the bottom of it and so then I'm gluing it in so that the bottom of that wedge piece follows along the bottom of my base and I'm going to do that on the other side as well I'm just putting glue on that tab and I'm gluing that upper portion to the top. And then I'm putting glue on the underside of it. I'm just gluing the edge of it right along the edge of my base piece. Next I have these two tabs at the top. I'm just putting glue on them. I'm tucking them under that top flap and just adhering them to form a nice corner, like so. I'm doing that on both sides. Just putting glue along the tab. And so then I'm putting glue on the tab that's on the top of this piece. So from the score line to the edge, and I'm just inserting it at the top of my coffin so that the score line is flush against the edge of my piece. And then I'm putting glue just at the top of these two angled pieces. And I'm gluing these tabs down. I'm putting glue all along those edge pieces and then I'm folding that top piece down and I want my sides to follow along the cut edge like so. 
And so now my drawer just fits inside. Then I have my decorative layers. I have 65 pound cardstock. Then I have the silver foil craft board. Then I have 80 pound cardstock. And then I'm just applying some adhesive foil. I'm applying it to my cardstock with some previously used transfer tape. And I'm just going to adhere all these layers together and adhere them to the top of my coffin. So next I have these decorative layers that I'm going to apply to the sides. There's two pieces to go on one side. I've got a longer piece to go at the end and then two more pieces on the other side and then I'm going to apply this piece to the front and it's got a hole in it to correspond with the hole that's at the front of my drawer and I'm just going to glue that down. So for the front of my drawer I have these brads. So I'm going to choose silver. I'm just going to insert it into the hole. I don't want it to go all the way to the end so I'm just putting my reverse tweezers in there to create a spacer. I'm bending back on the pins of my brad. So next I have my little skeleton that I've already prepared and I have this piece of acetate. So I just put red line tape on the front of my piece of acetate and this is the part that's going to be facing me. So I'm just going to take a liner off my red line tape and I'm just going to adhere it so it's at the center of my drawer and it's positioned right over that brad. And I need to position my skeleton so that he fits nicely inside. So if you position him too much askew, you won't be able to fit him into the drawer. So I've got red line tape down his leg. And I'm positioning him so that he fits nicely within the drawer. So then when you let go, he springs up. Next, I'm going to fold him down and insert it within my coffin. And so then when you open, ta-da! So for the second one, so I have my base piece. I'm just folding down on all the score lines. So next, I'm going to start at the top. I've got the two tabs on either side. I'm just going to put glue on both tabs. I'm folding this towards me. I'm folding up the side on the right bringing the cut edge of that piece to the score line of my tab and I'm doing that on the left side as well just folding that side piece up so as I work my way down I have these little tiny triangles I'm just going to put glue on that triangular shape bring that side inwards and glue it so that the cut edge of that side is right against the score line of that triangular shape and I'm going to do that on both sides. And then I have the tabs at the bottom. So I'm putting glue from the score line to the edge of the tab. And then I'm just folding the bottom upwards towards the wall of my coffin. So that cut edge is right up against the score line. I'm doing that on both sides. So now I have all these flaps all around the top of my coffin. I'm going to put glue on each one of them and then just turn them to the inside. And I'm just going in there with my bone folder and spreading all that glue. I'm gonna go around the entire perimeter of my coffin doing the exact same thing. Now that my base is done, I'm going to do the lid. So the lid is very similar. You wanna fold down on the score lines. So I'm gonna start with those top tabs again. I'm just putting glue from the score line to the edge then folding them together so that the cut edge is against the score line of my tab. And I'm doing that on the tabs that are on both sides. Then I'm putting a little bit of glue just on those little triangular tabs. And then just gluing the sides to those little triangular tabs. I'm just putting glue on the tabs on the bottom and then just gluing them in. And so that's the lid to my box my little vampire. So I've cut two identical pieces of the base piece out of 80 pound cardstock and I'm using glow-in-the-dark iron-on applying it to my little vampire's face. Putting it in position I'm protecting it with some parchment paper and then according to the heat guide I need to keep moving for 10 seconds. Heat is on medium. This is a cold peel so I'll just wait for this to cool down and then I'll peel the transfer sheet off. So now that it's cool, 
I'm just going to keep decorating my little guy. I have a piece of black vinyl for his hair. And I have a piece of red vinyl for his shirt. And then there's my platform for my box. I'm just folding down on all the score lines for it. And I have this short rectangle with score lines along. I'm just folding down on the score lines. For this piece, I want this score line to be folded towards me. So next I'm putting glue on this tab and I'm tucking it behind this panel and just gluing that panel right to the score line of my tab. And I'm doing the exact same thing on the other side. And then I'm grabbing this piece and I'm going to flip this piece over. I'm going to put glue on the end, so from the score line to the end of my piece. And I'm just going to adhere this. So as I have it upside down, I'm adhering it to the right hand side of my piece like so. And then I'm going to put glue on the other end. I'm gluing it in so that it's right up against the piece that I've just glued in. Like so. So you've got your seam in the center and then you've got this little square piece that's just sitting there. And all this does is it provides a little bit of sturdiness for my little platform piece. So I'm putting glue all along that back panel and I'm slipping it into my coffin so that my piece is right at the bottom. And I'm going to lift up the front and just exert a little bit of pressure to make sure that that glue takes. And then I'm laying my platform down. I'm going to lift up that flap at the front and put glue all over it. So I've got glue all over that platform at the front and I'm just adhering it to the bottom of my coffin. So next I have my mechanism for the pop-up. I'm just folding down on all the score lines. I'm using these two rubber bands. I'm using two of them just to have a little bit more spring. These are the ones I'm using. They're size number 12. So they're approximately one and three quarter inch rubber bands. So I have that semicircle piece at the top and then I have four holes. I'm putting glue on the panel that's right below the top set of holes. And then I'm bringing the panel up. So when I do that, those two sets of holes are directly on top of one another. Then I'm going to take my rubber bands and I'm just sinking them into those holes. So there's a little cutout on each side and that permits you to get them right into that hole. So I folded this panel underneath and I've got my semicircle with my rubber band on top. I'm just stretching my rubber bands until they go into the holes on my semicircle. Keeping everything flat, I'm going to fold up that center piece. I'm going to fold down the piece with the semicircle in it and I'm going to put glue all over it. The whole rectangular part as well. And then I'm going to bring my bottom piece up. I'm just spreading that glue on that upper panel like so. So then when I let go, it springs into position. So as I push down on it, this is the part that hits that folds onto my mat. So this is going to be the front. Uh, so I'm going to glue a, an orange panel to that part, the part that collapses down flat. So I'm just gluing that on top. The part that's beneath my orange panel, that's the part that I need to glue down to the platform. I've got my panel towards me. I'm going to flip my piece over and put glue all over it. And then I'm positioning it so that it's at an angle, like so. So that corner and that corner are at an angle. And then when you let go, it pops up. I have my little image and I want to make sure that he fits. So I'm dry fitting him. I'm putting him center to see if he fits nicely. He does. I'm putting glue on the bottom part of my image and then I'm positioning him so that his feet are at the bottom of that orange panel and he's more or less centered. I'm just double checking that he fits and he does. Now I have the decorations for the top of my lid. I have a piece of 65 pound purple cardstock and then I have my foil craft board. I have 80 pound black cardstock and I've applied adhesive foil for the RIP. 
and all of this gets adhered to the top and then i have this piece of foil craft board that i'm going to put on the interior this is just to make my lid a little more solid just adhering it into the inside of my lid and then i have this strip this is a belly band to keep my box closed so i'm just folding down on all the score lines and i'm putting glue on the tab that's on the side i'm bringing the other end over and just matching up the edge to the score line on my tab and so once you remove the belly band ta -da! so those are the two different versions of my pop-up coffin you have the drawer one and you have the pop-up 